2023 Cadillac Escalade V First Drive Review, VMAX Achieved Look, the 2022 Cadillac Escalade is excellent. It's always had presence, but Cadillac has shored up the weak bits over successive generations. Power, ride, handling, they're all now potent and or class appropriate. Luxury interior trimmings, not just good for a GM product, but good period. And speaking of periods, we're about to enter a new one in which internal combustion engines are taking a backseat to electrified performance. To highlight the Escalade's transformation into the vehicle it always should have been, now comes the version many of us have always, and loudly, wanted, the 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. We just drove it in long wheelbase ESV trim, and oh boy, it's something special. What V stands for, this 8-cylinder salute to excess, a 6.2-litre behemoth breathed upon by a 2.65-litre TVS supercharger that pours on 10 pounds of boost, creates a 682 HP Inferno underhood, more than the already staggering figure provided by the CT5V Blackwing's related powertrain. There's 653 pound-feet of torque, too, slightly less than the CT5V. These are barbarous stats, at the hairy edge of good sense and societal responsibility, and the vessel that contains them is a massive slab of steel and aluminum that strains the asphalt at a claimed 6,407 pounds, 190 pounds more than the short wheelbase model that we'll drive soon. Its size, mass, and presence dwarf its V-series stablemates, and it also has a very different mission. The V and Blackwing V versions of the CT4 and CT5 aim to please their drivers. The Escalade V aims to awe the driver and passengers and their neighbors and onlookers and nearby wildlife and, well, just about anything else with a set of eyes and ears. It's the most powerful full-size SUV around, and it never lets you forget it. This is something to brag about, Escalade product manager David Schiavoni said. What will Escalade V owners brag about? How about its 0 to 60 mph time? That's the first thing that comes to mind when you're in an SUV measuring contest, right? No disappointment here, as Cadillac claims the Escalade VESV we drove will rip to 60 in just 4.5 seconds. The incredible thing is, that's not enough for entry into the elite tier of quickest accelerating SUVs, but for something this massive there's no shame in where it lands on the list. The lighter short wheelbase model is a tenth of a second quicker. The fact of the matter is, the Escalade V is quick, and feels it. Boot it and the big Cadillac surges off, surfing on a fat torque wave that starts way down low, achieving some high double-digit speed before you realize you should probably back off. But there's not much drama beyond the burly noise emanating behind you and a vague sense that something rather extraordinary happened. Without the context of, say, saguaro cacti whizzing by, it might seem anticlimactic. Use the Escalade V's abilities to launch around a minivan cruising at sub-limit speeds in a short passing zone and it seems much more impressive. Loud pipes save size, the Escalade V team spent a long time getting the noises right, and the result is a bold, bassy tone that rises to a yowl as you rev it out, punctuated by the 10-speed auto's quick stab shifts as the Escalade V gathers speed. It's a bit more subdued than the CT5V Blackwing, whose Scarface exhaust system's mission statement was to frighten small children, especially cruising in overdrive on the freeway, in which case the sound fades away and the Escalade V's excellent sound deadening and throbbing, bass-heavy AKG sound system, 36 speakers, can shine. Dip into the accelerator and the burble is back, appropriately aggressive for stoplight part throttle scoots. Let off in V-mode and it'll release a staccato cackle of fast, sharp pops that seems to go on a little too long. Several of Escalade V's engineers told us that the biggest challenge on this monster SUV wasn't the brakes or dumping heat out of the engine, but rather getting the exhaust rooted. Escalade V engineers insisted on equal length headers, but an intrusion on one side of the engine bay meant they had to get creative. The solution was a loop on one side, a 360 degree turn in the piping just aft of the headers, to get the needed length. There's a little more back pressure here than on the CT5V Blackwing, but we think it only improves the overall sound quality. Mass driver, out on a winding mountain road high above the desert floor, 
What matters is how quick the Escalade V feels, and whether you can stop and turn all its mass before a dramatic physics experiment takes place. Here's where the fourth generation magnetic ride control, MRC, recalibrated air suspension, and appropriately sized six piston Brembo front brakes need to shine. And they do. The Escalade V is firmer than a regular Escalade without being punishing, and provides handling that doesn't, and shouldn't, hide the sheer size of the vehicle. It feels secure and confident at entertaining velocities. That's no small task. A well-calibrated steering system helps immensely, with noticeable gradations in effort between drive modes. There's no artificial heft to simulate sportiness here. Just smart, direct, accurate steering that provides a surprising amount of predictability and feedback. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.